What's poppin' Bo Bros? Blaze Bowman here with Trumpet Hacks, where we turn dreams into double C. Wow, almost 6,000 subscribers in less than a year. Let's get to 10,000 before March. Only real G subscribe. Let's get it, Bo Bros. Squash that subscribe button. Trumpet players, we're pretty awesome. I mean, come on, we're all basically gods. Ain't nobody got nothing on us. We're at the top of the food chain. The Alpha. We all know what's up. In my years as a trumpet player, I've noticed there are many stages of trumpet addiction. Many trumpet players claim to like the trumpet, but they can't even name a trumpet player besides Louis Armstrong. They didn't know mouthpieces had different sizes. And they didn't even know that Maurice Andre was addicted to butter. I mean, come on. And you know what? That's cool, we got some casual bros in here. But today, I'm giving you seven signs that you are a 100% true, legit, trumpet player. Well, are you? Let's find out. Before we get into your number one sign, make sure to answer the questions right up there and shape the future of the trumpet world. Number one. All right, the first giveaway is you have a giant ego. And I'm talking straight up ridiculous. Trumpet players are the only people in the world that have a bigger ego than Kanye. We simply don't care what people think and few can handle this. You have a psyche of steel, nothing phases you. If you cracked a note in front of one million people and you just didn't care, it's pretty obvious that you're a true trumpet player. You just don't care. I don't know what it is, but I'll take it. Only real G's appreciate it. If some little cuck says, I can play higher than you, you just don't care because you know you're a G. But Blaze? Having an ego is a bad thing, right? Nah, you got the status to back up that ego. It is your best weapon. Few realize this. Now in our trumpet world, the trumpet ego is not really a problem. It's a universal thing everybody has. Just embrace it, bro, it's who you are. Only a select few realize the true power of the trumpet ego. The second best way to tell if you are a true trumpet player is if you have season tickets to the mouthpiece safari. And you all know what I'm talking about. If you walk around with more than one mouthpiece, you are in fact a true trumpet player. You own hundreds of mouthpieces. You switch more than a gold digger in Dubai. You just can't settle on one. Loyalty just does not exist. But this mouthpiece gives me better tone. But this mouthpiece is gold. But I can play a double C on this mouthpiece. You haven't played on a basic 3C in over a hundred years. Most guys out there stick with a basic and boring boring 7C for their entire life. You know how dumb that is? That's like getting married at 10 years old. Let that sink in. You for real, bro? You gonna get married at 10 years old? This ain't the middle ages. Get with it, bro. Would you get married at 10 years old? No. Very big lesson in there. There are better options out there and you take them with no remorse for your old mouthpiece. All right, you stuck with a six and you're surrounded by tens. You gonna stay with the six? No. You best believe I'm telling my son this. Embrace all the mouthpieces in the world. Don't play yourself. Only real trumpet players embrace their options. Real talk. Back on topic, if you love high notes, you're a real trumpet player. Now high notes aren't the most important thing on the trumpet, but let's be real, they're pretty fun. Don't lie to yourself, you know it's true. It's our way of showing up. We gotta flex somehow. Pretty much everybody can sound good and play technical, but only the alphas scream the paint peeling double C's. It's flashy, it's exciting. I'm being straight up with y'all. The guy playing double C's gets more attention than the guy playing Carnival of Venice. That's just life. Like it or not, but you can work on it. And here's where the range jealousy comes in. You'll be in an audition room and one guy decides to play a high note while you're all warming up. Everybody else stops what they're doing and decides to start playing high notes too. It spreads like the plague and it's the funniest thing ever. Everybody's gotta see who can play the highest. It's our instinct. Now if you can't play high, that's all good. You can and will get there. Don't just hold yourself back from having fun, dude. That's full-blown masochism. Be honest with yourself. All of us have been at that stage like, Man, high notes are dumb. I just need to practice my scales. I hate the trumpet, it's not fun. But once you get past that stage, you're like a Formula One race car driver. You're like, Phew, this is so fun. Today's squeaks are tomorrow's notes, real talk. We just respect the bros that can play high. It's nature. It is a major bro thing and a true sign that you, in fact, are a legit trumpet player. Which moves on to our next sign. If you genuinely love playing the trumpet. Stop a second, ask yourself. Why did you start playing the trumpet? Because it's fun. You didn't start playing trumpet to be hammering out scales and practicing arbins all day long. You picked it up because you're like, hey, this looks fun. So many guys get caught up in the routine of, I gotta practice 25 hours every day and I gotta root arbins, 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 and more arbins. Stop 
save yourself before it's too late. Trumpet is supposed to be fun. A lot of you forget that. It's the number one mistake I see guys make all of the time. How do you get so lost along the way while you forget why you even started? Every trumpet player goes through this phase. It's like a midlife crisis. When you get past this, trumpet playing is like a spiritual experience and you find the fun in it again and you just enjoy playing. Instead of being frustrated every time you pick up the horn, you're just like, man, this is really fun. Honest question, how many of you can look in the mirror and tell yourself, I play trumpet for fun? If you can, congratulations, you just might be a true trumpet player. Especially if this next one is you. You're diverse, you listen to a ton of different trumpet players, from jazz to classical to mariachi to rockabilly. You. Can you name a trumpet player other than Louis Armstrong? Congratulations, you're a genius. On the real, most guys only listen to Wynton. Let that sink in. Really, bro? There's so many underrated trumpet players out there like Herb Alpert, Bill Chase, Chet Baker, me. <coughs> On the real, if you listen to 1.26 million different trumpet players, you just might be a real trumpet player. I did a video where I lay down the top 10 trumpet players of all time. Some of you might not have heard of, Y'all need to go check it out right now. The link is down in the description. Go get it, boys. And now, one of the funniest, number six. You like to take risks. Now, a lot of y'all are probably like, huh? What does risk taking have to do with trumpet? Gambling, boys. Every note you play is a gamble. Few realize it. Every time you go for a high note, especially on a paid gig, it is a gamble. If you nail the note, you're treated like a king and you get more money. If you frickety frack crack that note, you ain't getting no more money, no more gigs. And then you're gonna be in the corner like, put some respect on my, on my name. Especially if you're the lead guy and you crack it, everybody knows it was you. And boy, do I mean everybody. On the real, it's pretty fun being on the edge all the time. This is where your ego serves you. No fear, peak abundance. You just don't care, you keep doing you. And it's the best that way, real talk. Number seven, the most important test to see if you are a real trumpet player. You love having a positive trumpet world. You ain't got no time for negativity in your life. Everybody knows that one trumpet player that just really annoys everybody. Don't be that guy. If you are playing the trumpet just for fun, you know what's up. And if you're subscribed to me, then you are most definitely a true trumpet player. Only real G's realize this is straight up. If you're part of the Bobro gang, you are in fact a true trumpet player. If you're new around here, squash that subscribe button. It will make your life 10,000 times better. Now, how many of these did you guys get? Did you get seven? Did you get none? Let us know down in the comments. I think I'm about six and a half of these, if that's even possible. Stop. Why did you start playing trumpet? Is it because your parents made you? Is it because you just wanted something to do? Did you actually think it was fun? Let us know, comment down below. This list is pretty good, but if you feel there were some signs left out, let us know down in the comments. I'll be down there checking them out. And most importantly, if you love this video, make sure to squash that like button. Now for those of y'all that are new around here, make sure to squash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. We post hilarious new videos every single Monday at 3 p.m. Squash that subscribe button, you can't miss it. Stop, if you aren't part of our Snap Squad, you need to stop what you're doing right now and add me right up there on Snapchat. There's some insane stuff that goes down on there that you guys can't miss out on. Once again, add me on Snapchat right there. Let's do it. Cheers, Bobros. Have a great summer. I will see you next week.